Hey everyone, it's Chris here, and today I'm talking about testing your gear before you head out on a hike. Alright, so finding out that a piece of gear is either damaged, broken, or not working while you're out on a hike depending on the piece of gear that it is and the type of hike that you're doing, could mean either an annoying inconvenience, maybe a less comfortable hike, or in some cases, even having to end your hike early. Making sure your hiking gear is going to work for you before you get out on a hike is hugely important to increase your chances of having an enjoyable, comfortable, and safe time in the wilderness. And it's definitely good practice to make testing and checking your gear part of your pre-hike planning. So I'm going to talk today about three types of gear testing and go through a few examples of each one. So the first thing is, make sure that you know how each piece of gear that you're going to take with you actually works. You wanna be confident that you know how to use each of those items before you go out on a hike and you're not trying to work that out for the first time when you're out on the trail. Some pieces of gear are obviously going to be really simple, like a trowel for example, grab handle, dig hole. But others are potentially going to be a bit more complex and you wanna make sure you know how to use that item and how it functions before you're actually getting out on a hike. So a perfect example of that is a tent. So just imagine that you've got a brand new tent and you're going out for a hike on the next weekend and you put it straight in your pack, you haven't tried to set it up or anything yet and head out on that hike and let's say you get really bad weather on the first day and you're having to set up in pouring rain and high winds. Now, if you've got no idea how this actually gets set up and you haven't tested that out before, the chances are you're probably gonna have a pretty miserable time trying to get this tent up in heavy rain and high winds. It's just gonna be a lot more difficult than if you knew exactly how to set that up before you actually went out on your hike. Once you're comfortable with how a piece of your gear works, it should become straightforward for you each time you use it. Whenever you're adding a new piece of gear to your setup, spend the time in getting to know how it works. For example, I've just recently bought a new headlamp and although these aren't all that complex to use, I did buy this one because it had a couple of additional functions on it, which was an SOS function and a strobe function. So I've just, Spend a bit of time just playing around with that, just knowing how to use those two functions so that I am fully aware of how this works when I'm gonna be out on the trail. The second type of testing is checking your items to make sure that they're in working order and that they're going to perform as you need them to when you're out on your hike. Check that nothing is damaged or broken. If something is damaged, are you going to be able to repair it or will you need to replace that item altogether? Some examples of the types of gear checks that you can do. So if you have an inflatable sleeping pad, maybe inflate that a few nights before you're going on your hike and leave it overnight to make sure that it remains fully inflated and it has no air leaks in it. If you use a gas stove, hook up your stove to a gas canister and just make sure that that's working properly. If you're using a water filter to purify your water, test that out as well and make sure that it's not clogged and has decent flow. If you're taking any electronics gear with you, make sure that you've got all of your batteries fully charged and that all of your devices are working properly. Some simple pre-hike checks of your gear like these will give you the peace of mind that those items are working before you head out for your hike. The final type of testing for your gear is field testing it. This could be something as simple as trying it out in your backyard. Maybe setting up your shelter when there's going to be rain or high winds forecast and testing that out overnight just to see how it performs in those types of conditions. It could just be going out walking locally in your neighborhood or somewhere close to home to test out something like a new pair of hiking boots or trail runners to start to break them in. I recently bought a new rain jacket and although I haven't had a chance to go out and hike in that yet, I've just been going out for walks in it when it's been raining, just to see how it actually performs. The best type of field test is, of course, 
to actually take your gear out on a hike. If you're planning towards a bigger hike of several days or a week or maybe even a few weeks or a few months, head out for some shorter overnight hikes first to fully test out all of your gear and make sure that it's going to work the way that you need it to for your big adventure. So is your pack going to be comfortable on your back, hips and shoulders? Is your sleeping bag or quilt going to keep you warm enough for the types of weather conditions that you're likely to experience on your hike? And are your clothes going to keep you warm enough as well? All these kinds of things are great to test out on an overnight hike because if something really isn't working for you, it's much better to find that out when you're only out for one night rather than discovering that when you're out on a much longer hike. Now, gear may still fail when you're out on a longer hike or even on a short hike for that matter. Things can and do go wrong. But if you do all those types of testing of your gear before you hit the trail, you can head out there being confident that you know all of your gear is going to work for you and it's going to greatly increase your chances of being able to fully enjoy your hiking adventure. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to follow along on my channel and see more content and you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you out on the trail next time.